All right, my friends, welcome back to Mr. and Mrs. Frog's product reviews. Now, this is a video that has been a very long time coming, but first, this is my beautiful wife, Tashina, and we are going to finally, after six long months, <laughs> review the Whisker Robot for Litter Robot. Gosh, I know you guys have been waiting for this. I know. I'm sorry, I'm a slacker. <laughs> so, uh, so we're not gonna do any, um, any like video. Well, I might try to capture some video and edit it in there of the thing actually in motion. But this thing here has like a mind of its own. I'm not even joking. Like, well, no, I'm just joking. Like you can, you can, you can time it. Like when the cat use it, it'll, it'll go off on its own. But this yeah, thing... I've got it set up. <clears throat> I got it set up with the app, so it, it's on a timer. So anytime it detects, um, the cat go in. Um, it'll cycle about 15 minutes after usually, the cat sleep. Usually when I go to use the bathroom in the morning is when it cycles. It cycles. So I'm like, I'm pretty regular. Maybe I can get a video. <laughs> and I keep thinking about it every time, but I never do it. I never do it. But we will, well, one day we'll get you guys some video of it. So so it's been about six months. We paid, what was it, like 800 bucks for this thing. We yeah. paid $800, oh, $800 for the... Yeah. Uh, but we got we got the mat, we got like the the extra Some bags, bags. We, yeah. we got like the full kit. Like we spent the scent pods, bucks. which we didn't really need. Scent, scent pods. Um, this thing is pretty cool. So yeah. the way it works, um, kind of like a dryer. Um, it it'll have like the you know like the front load washer dryer type deal. But is what it does is it rotates on an axis, and it will it will um it so you, so you put your kitty litter in there. The cats go in there. They'll do the thing. They'll bury it just like a regular cat yeah. will. It took what maybe maybe three days for the cats to to acclimate to it. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty quick. quick. Like they, they're still a little skittish. <clears throat> like if they hear it go off or cycle, they're kind of like, "What is that?" But, but, but yeah. most of the time, they're they're pretty good about going in, doing their business. Um, they leave about fifteen minutes later. It will cycle, so it spins and it will sift yeah, so all was... the clean litter through and leave the. Um, little poops and clumps and it will drop down into the drawer which is lined with a bag and, and it, it tells you just when it's rotates full. back it will send me a notification that the um i've got it set up on my phone and watch so it sends me a notification anytime the cats use it like it will say like cat detected and then it'll tell me when the clean cycle has gone through or if one of the clean cycles has been interrupted. Maybe one cat used it and then the other cat got curious. Um, it'll get interrupted that way too. So so another good thing about this litter robot, um, if, if, you've got, if you've got multiple cats, so when one cat gets in there, it actually weighs them while they're going to the bathroom. So, yeah. and, and, it, and it keeps track of both cats. So you'll know exactly which cat goes in there, when they go in there, if they are gaining weight, if they are losing weight. Um, and that can help you, you know, find out if maybe your cat's sick, maybe your cat's not eating good enough, like you've changed the food or the diet for the cat. Um, all of these, like, this is a pretty cool, and, and it's pretty accurate. Like, it's pretty accurate. Um, I think we had, like, one time that it kind of reset itself. Yeah. And you had to, like, redo all the stuff in it. Yeah, it, like, went offline for a while. I don't know if our, like, internet dropped off because it goes by Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But I don't know if the internet dropped off or something, but I had to go and, like, reset it all and enter in all the information. Um, but it started collecting data after that, too. And it was about the same. So. And so I, you, you keep all the data that you've already collected too, right? I think so. I think that it, yeah, it so. showed. Uh, one of the things that I was I was kind of thinking about, I was like, man, do they have the like a computer app or something? <clears throat> uh, I, I don't think there's a computer app. I have I have not been able to find one because I wanted to be able to. I kind of wanted to be able to like record some screen for you guys and, and show you all of that. Um, to record like a phone screen though is is kind of is is, is kind of <laughs> it's kind of hard. I mean we can we could we could definitely do it. We'll, we'll at least get some video in there to kind of at least show you what the app looks like and stuff. But after six months of using this, I mean both of us were like eight hundred dollars for a litter robot. I mean that mm -hmm. that sounds ridiculously extreme. Yeah, it it, it really yeah. does. You're like for for a litter box, you can go to Walmart buy a litter box for freaking five bucks and you can fill it with the sand has this after six months <laughs> been worth the eight hundred dollar investment and i want you to be honest most definitely you really like it that it, much it is 
completely changed my life. I have actually had the hardest time keeping up with the litter box because when you have one cat, you scoop four times a day. When you have two cats, you're scooping eight times a day. And my poor cats would just get forgotten. The litter box would get forgotten. And now if I tell one of the kids, I got the notification that the drawer is full, I can tell one of my kids or a frog. Wait, how like, many times do you scoop it now? None. I don't scoop it How many times have you scooped it in the last six months? Um, you know, it actually tells me how many scoops I've... I've saved. I've saved on the <laughs> app. Like, it's like going to Smith's. <laughs> oh, you've saved 1,492 scoops. Yeah. I think it's like 200 or 300 scoops that I haven't done in the last six months. But, I mean, the data kind of got skewed because it went offline. But I could have my kids do it. I'd tie up the bag and have them take it out. Easy to line it back up. And Frog does it. One yeah. one morning I forgot to grab the litter bag and I asked him to do it. And it's easy peasy. He did it right before work. Like you pull out the drawer, you grab the bag, you grab a new bag, you just set it in there and then you close it and, and it's like magic. I mean, that's like literally the only thing you have to do for it. And I don't think you have to <clears throat> use the whisker bags. I just think no, that no, they're pretty yeah. durable. Like so. the, the whisker bags are, are like a very durable, a very durable plastic. We actually bought the one that comes with them so we got you know a nice little good, good roll. roll and yeah. they last what is it like two weeks ish yeah i think that we're changing the drawer out it's like from a, like a week and a half to two weeks just depends on how many how many cans of food the kids give the cats yeah <laughs> i mean like, depends it, on how much they're it using really it, it yeah. really does it really does like you like you set it and forget it Mm -hmm. Like literally, I, I, we, we literally almost forgot about making this video because that was the plan was to let it go six months. Yeah. And, and we are, I think, a little bit past that, actually. But then, you know, I saw a comment. They're like, hey, man, when are you going to get us the review? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we're working on it. We're, 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 uh, we're doing it. And, and so we had to literally sit back and we had to talk to each other about it for a minute and, and really ask, is this thing really worth $800? Does it really... Does it really free up that time enough to to like give you to give you and the cats a better quality life? Do they enjoy it? Is it mm -hmm. good for them? Is it going to benefit? Is is the cost of this thing going to benefit your overall lifestyle? And we all have fast lifestyles now. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We're working. She's working 13 hours a day. I'm working, <clears throat> doing my job, coming home. You know, doing the YouTube channel and stuff. We're working. We're we're wanting to spend time with the family, but we don't want to forget our loved our our our, our animals. Our fur babies. We, we our fur babies. We yeah. love them. We care about them. Yeah. And in my in my opinion, you're gonna have cats for a long time. Yeah. I mean, you get a cat. They're part of the family. It's it's not it's not as big of a it's not as big of an investment as 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 you would think it is. The, the, the quality of life that it gives your loved ones, your, your 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 fur babies, the the precious time that you save not having to sit there and scoop out the cat litter, being able to make sure that every time they go to the bathroom, it is a fresh place for them to go to the bathroom. Yeah. It's more sanitary. It really does it, it really does pay for itself pretty quickly. Yeah. And and this is something that like we both thought, like, should we well, do it? Well, and we're not wasting litter. That's something I like too, is we're not wasting the litter. Yeah. It will tell us when the litter is getting low and you can cycle it to completely empty out the litter. So you're getting to kind of the lower end or you've been letting the litter go for a little bit longer. It will, you can cycle and completely empty, wipe it out, make sure it's nice and fresh for them mm -hmm. and start a whole new yeah litter for them and it's clean every single time yeah it's it, it really is incredible the, the amount of litter that we save it, yeah. it, i think we because we go to costco i mean obviously costco <laughs> it's our favorite place <laughs> so we go to costco and we get that that 40 pound um that 40 pound you know kitty litter thing and i think we were used to get it almost like every time we'd go we were just going through it um I think we buy it maybe every three times, maybe even four times. Yeah. I mean, we go to Costco a lot, so. We try to I get mean, it when it's on sale. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and, 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 and it's kind of weird. It does You don't have much... to use any special litter. Clumping litter yep. works fine. It, it yep. can be the bottom of the barrel litter. Yeah. Some cause... cats are really picky about the litter that they use. Our cats don't care. So, so. It, so it has like a, a flat edge or whatever that litter can go under. And then it also has a grate to, to keep the clumps on top. So all that litter is going to filter through it pretty well. Um, and it is a pretty good filtration system uh, for, for the overall, 
um, for the cat litter, you really do not lose a lot. I've actually, because I'm, I'm pretty regular. I'm in the bathroom every time the thing goes <laughs> off and I'm like, are you kidding me? And I'm sitting there and, and, and like I watch it and the way it just goes and, and it's so smooth and it's such a process that like it, it goes around, it filters all the litter. Um, you'll see the clumps just fall right into the hole and then it rotates back and and it just nice fresh coating of litter right across there there's no there's no clumps there's no extra nothing it just comes back as pure filtered freaking kitty litter like and, and, and it's cool you look at it and you're like gosh dang man it almost looks like a zen freaking garden <laughs> well they have other you know automatic litter boxes not just you know the litter robot we got you know the litter robot because that's the one that i wanted but they have other ones that, you know, grate through or have the pads underneath. And I'm glad that we went with this one yeah. because it's like yeah. a one and done. I think the technology is just better. Like, yeah. Like literally, you set it and forget it. Um, you, you put the litter in there. It, it rotates. It it really it, it really is cost effective. Especially... Even when I'm at work, I get notifications like, your yeah. cleaning cycle is done. I'm like, oh, one of my cats went to the bathroom. <laughs> and and you can do all of this manually. Yeah. So 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 say you've got like guests over or something and your cat just used the thing and you're like, oh gosh, you can smell it. You can go in there and hit the freaking button. It'll cycle It'll automatically through. cycle through right then and yeah. there. Um, and it really does trap the odor very well. Yeah. I mean, very well. Like I like you can't smell. It. I mean, like if you walked in there right after the cats go to the bathroom, absolutely oh, yeah. you can smell it. But it it's it's like once you once you run the cycle, boom, it's done. It, yeah. And it, and it is nice. It is very. Um, I looked over the quality of the build after we first got it. You know, I was kind of in the first video a little bit, and um, the overall quality of the build of this thing is it, it seems pretty dang durable. It's got a nice rubber coated silicone type mat that, that that's in there, and and that coats pretty much all of it. Um, and, and that thing is pretty much puncture proof. It, like their claws can't can't puncture it, which is which is pretty cool because it's yeah. um, it, it is pre it is pretty dang durable. Um, the shelf and ours came with a little um, a little guard thing. Yeah, that, like, like a they pee kinda, guard. Like a pee guard, so they're not peeing all over the place and stuff. So I do think that part which is, is something helps because yeah, I, I, I'm glad that that's there because our little our youngest cat she likes to get in there and, and spray and pee up the side of <laughs> of it which is good too because when it cycles through yeah it, cleans, it catches all it, yeah, of it kinda, yeah it kind of cleans it's, it's not like self-cleaning but it but it does well a it good is self-cleaning but it like catches all of the yeah. moisture yeah all when of the she moisture. like pees up the side or something like that yeah absolutely it and, and so. it and it does like you go in there and you just look at it and and it looks and the deciding deciding factor was i had cleaned the litter box one day and she came in to use the litter box and peed up On the, the wall. wall and I was like, That's it. We're getting some we're, <laughs> getting, we're, it. we're getting, getting it. We're getting it. And it, it, was, it definitely it was, keeps yeah. the pee off the wall. And this and we got this what did we get this in November? I think it was November, right? I don't remember. I think it was it's November. Been a, it's been a few so months. I mean it's 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 been a good time. I mean the overall the overall experience, I mean, like I said, you you set it and forget it, so you don't you don't think about it every day. Um, I, I, I don't think we, I don't think we really even was like, I don't think there was any days where we thought, oh man, we just wasted $800 on this. I, I don't think there was one no. day, honestly, that we, that we thought well, that. Well, and I they have other options too. You, they, you don't have to get the litter four. You could get the three and it would be a little bit cheaper. Yeah. But the technology is still there. Yeah. The, 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 the I think, I think I like the rotation the, the rotation freaking technology of this it, it yeah, is actually the, it, the shape is a little bit different i was worried about our older cat being able to get up into the litter box um because she has arthritis in her hips and stuff like that but she gets up there just fine yep, she, but i was worried with the, if we were to get you know the three that it has like a little bit smaller hole access oh, point yeah. i think that's like a cover or something I, I don't know. I don't know. It it looked different. I I just was worried that she wouldn't be able to get into it. So let's move it. on to style. Does it look tacky? Uh, <laughs> in our bathroom, with how our bathroom is set up, it's a little clunky. It's like it just the way because we have like this. We have like this. Um, our uh, our counter. 
And then we have literally just, just enough, enough room space between our bathtub and the, the cabinet where the litter robot is directly across from our from our toilet. But we would, didn't want to change where the litter robot was or where the litter box was because our cat is older. Um, and so we didn't want to just completely change it on her. So we left it in the bathroom, which is fine. We all go to the bathroom in the bathroom. Our cats could go to the bathroom in the bathroom. It's fine. Yeah, and I, um, haven't, I haven't had to replace the toothbrush yet since we got it because they don't fall in the kitty litter box no more. <laughs> it's just bulky. That It's just bulky. So if you have a, a better place to put it, maybe if like your cats are, yeah, if your cats are used to being, going in the laundry room, I'd put it there. Um, mm. But for what it is, or even in like a spare bathroom... Or like a like a side corner or something. It's it's not. It, it doesn't look. I mean, like the it overall, doesn't look terrible. Though. Yeah, the overall design doesn't doesn't look bad. But I I mean, in in terms of places that you can put it, because that was like a big thing for us. That yeah. was definitely like, where like one of the things. It? Or like where we, yeah. I think we I think we sat and tossed that around for a few weeks. Yeah, are we gonna put it in the hall it. closet? Are we gonna put it yeah. here? Are we gonna try and figure out how to put it here? Where am are we gonna, gonna plug it in at? Am I gonna rewire something to put it here? Yeah. yeah. So. I, I like where we have it. It's it's not bad. It definitely, um, it it it. I I personally kind of think it's right where it needs to be. If if you ask me, it's right across from our toilet. It's right in the bathroom, and it, and it works perfectly. So, I'm our I, space like, is fine for aesthetically it. Aesthetically like wise, it it is aesthetically pleasing. I do. I, I, I don't have a problem with the way it looks. I think it looks no, pretty No, it looks fine. It, it, it doesn't look I like a litter can, box, but you're also, it doesn't look like you're trying to hide it in a cabinet either. Because, yeah. I mean, I think they have a white one too, right? I think it's I either think black so. or white. I think, I think they think might so. actually have other colors too. Um, what I would like Little Robot, Whisker Little Robot to do, if they decide to watch this video, is um, <laughs> the, the top part comes off. Um, I would like some stylized ones. Maybe maybe like pink flowers or something. <laughs> we could put flowers on it if you want. I would like like cool looking covers that we could buy. No, I'm just joking. Like we need no. cool accessories. Why? I'm Why just, do we need to accessorize? You want to bedazzle the litter robot? <laughs> exactly. I want to. I want to bedazzle it. No, I'm just joking. He wants to bedazzle it. I, I think I think it looks cool. Buttons are. So, so if different. anybody's got any fun stickers, send them to Frog. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll put I'll them on a, the litter robot. I'll get a PO box sometime. Maybe no, I'm just joking. But yeah, overall, I, I do I, I I I'm I'm very happy with the quality of uh, Whisker okay. Little Robot Four. I think that's how you say it. Whiskers Little Ro Little Robot Four. Definitely good quality. I I had my I had my doubts. I had my questions about it. But this thing is smooth. It it works. Even if you put you know like more more litter in there, it still it still rotates. Um, you'll have to read like the instructions. I would I would recommend doing that. Read the instructions. Make sure you're not over putting too much weight in in there. Give it enough to to be able to cycle through and stuff. Uh, for the most part, yeah. Overall, pretty dang good quality. I do yeah. like this thing. Um, at first, I thought it was expensive. Now, I, <laughs> now I feel like it's kind of cheap. So, and, it and saved that's, us. that's 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 honest. You know the the time and the effort that it saved Sheena from from having to worry about that stuff. And you know, like because the kids aren't gonna do it. They just whatever we're not doing it and you know like me and her we already work so hard so yeah having that yeah. there to do a job for us i want the servant robots to hurry up and get here <laughs> I'm just, where's the clothes washing freaking robots you know what i mean i i like it i think it's cool it really does like i said the cats it makes their life better yeah it definitely gives them a more sanitary experience when they're when they're going to the bathroom and i definitely appreciate that yeah do you have anything you want to add? No. I'm glad that you let me buy it. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, Saved my life. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yep. Thanks for joining us today. If you guys like this content, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, it, it definitely helps the channel grow. I would like more people to be able to see this so that they know that like these products are worth buying. If they're... Um, if they're if they're worth the effort or or whatever, and we also got uh, the new shark dryer hair, hair dryer yeah, video styling. coming cool. soon. So yep. if you guys like this content, hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for being patient, and uh, <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll, see, we'll you see you guys, guys later. in the next one.